What's going on everyone? How are we all doing today? Today we are here for the second la- Second last reaction for my sister throughout the Saw series. She's done seven of the previous movies of the initial run of Saw movies from 2004 to 2010 from Saw to Saw 3D, the final chapter. Now we are at where the series began again, where it started off fresh in 2017 with Jigsaw. Jigsaw, as I recently said, was released in 2017. It was directed by the Spirit Brothers which had done previously Predestination and and Daybreakers. And um, the year after Jigsaw came out, they released Winchester, which is a horror film we don't talk about. But they decided to bring back the series, along with Lionsgate and everything, and Twisted Pictures back in 2017. And we had a new Saw film that was a direct follow-on from Saw 3D. Aaron, what are you expecting from Jigsaw? We've got about an hour and 25 minutes ahead of us without credits. What do you expect to see? And this movie was released in 2017. What do you think the quality is going to be like in comparison to the other seven movies we just saw? Well, I haven't got a lot to expect because, well, the last movie was shit. I expect <laughs> that I'll be either on my phone most of the movie or chewing my nails. Aye! So what do you think it's going to be? Do you think it's going to be better than the previous movie and the other movies? Where do you think this will land before we actually get started? Because I haven't talked about this much. Have I? I haven't talked about this one much. No, and that explains a lot because you usually talk about a movie, whether it's good or bad, a lot. But It's because I'm trying to keep it a secret, especially with what you predicted at the end of the previous film. Still not expecting a lot. Even before we decided to do these, this series, you didn't talk about this movie a lot except for the fact that you said it was absolute crap. I never said this was complete crap. I just m more or less voiced it as one of the more forgettable entries in the series, but... That's not for me to judge right now. This is your reaction. So without further ado, guys, let's get in and let's watch Jigsaw. A Saw movie started off with a fucking car chase. Who'd have thought? What is this, Baby Driver? Blues Brothers? This came out the same year as Baby Driver, actually. Explains a lot. Ah, uh, yes. The usual, oh, we're on the rooftop. On foot chase. Jumping from roof to roof. It's Halloran! Detective Halloran! He's not here! In 17 minutes, five people are gonna die! Get hell out of here now! <laughs> it's such... Such a weird way to open one of these movies. Edgar! Edgar, what the fuck are you doing? I got him, so take it. No, no, no. Target the remote. If he moves to trigger it, blow it to shit. I'm out of time! Why not just shoot the remote now? Like, it would stop it anyway. I'm not fucking dying! Like, it triggered it anyway. Like, he still pulled the trigger, so it's obviously started. It makes... Dumb. Uh which one of you assholes shot him in the chest? It started. Please help me! Please stay the fuck back! Fuck, these are some of the most forgettable characters. Salvation can be yours if you cleanse yourselves of the habitual lies. I should make note that this movie takes place 10 years after Jigsaw's death and after Hoffman is left in the bathroom. Hmm. So how's he alive? First, an offering of blood. No matter how long I have no clue. Do I care? Make the simple blood sacrifice that I've requested or face severe consequences. The choice is yours. Probably a and game that was already set up. What do you mean? It was probably a game that he already had planned with the tapes already recorded. So these people are still being targeted ten years later? Yep. And... I don't know. Okay. This movie already doesn't make sense. It's just started! That's really just asleep. <laughs> that guy's been on a little too much. He's had a bit too much to drink before this. He's not waking up. <laughs> Wake up! They do realize that they could probably sub. Would they? No, they would be dragged up. Yeah, they'd be dragged into the razor blades, then. <laughs> So these are pretty forgettable. 
These are pretty forgettable characters, but if I remember right, the one on the far left is Mitch. The girl who got, got the bucket off first is Anna, then Ryan, then Carly. Well, he's dead. That didn't take long. You think the game's real? Don't know. Why do you think he asked for you? We're good friends. Put him away twice. Edgar huh. Wilson is a sociopathic meth head. Been in and out of prison for assault and battery, armed robbery. I've got him in a barbiturate induced coma until he stabilizes. How long? Swilling has to come down first. Two hours, two weeks. Can't tell you. Yeah, hey, our perp is in a coma, but like we need to ask him questions. Just fucking pull him out. You know, like, that can fucking happen. He said it was a game. Well, then I hope for all of our sakes that it is a game. Well, yeah, why is that, sweetheart? Because, because games, games can be won. won. Now, whenever I watch a movie and I see someone running, I just think of the first scene ever in Grimm. <laughs> hey, look! The dad that plays catch we never had! Oh. What do you think, Al? I don't know. Looks a little pale. <laughs> you get it? You get it? You, you get it? A little pale? Oof. Huh. Oof. Yum. Brain. Jesus. What happened to this guy? I oh, wonder. He lost the upper half of his face and jaw? Half decapitation. I do kind of love that. Okay then. And then there were four. The games have begun again, and they will not stop until the sins against the innocent are atoned for. I will take care of the next four. You take care of the rest. Having the tapes be now in like a USB is like you having the tape the from the ring be on a fucking USB or on a computer. Thanks, rings. The only good thing you gave us in that movie was Johnny Galecki. Even then, Johnny Galecki wasn't great. Oh, shit. What the fuck? No, that's, that's not, not creepy, creepy at all. all. <laughs> that's so bad! <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Just, oh, fuck, not again. Hey, you got something you want to confess? Have at it! Come on! I confess that this is fucked up! Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's like I couldn't give a shit if you smeared yourself in peanut butter and had a 15 hooker gangbang. What? Yep. That's how it stopped by pulling a fucking wire with a tape attached to the end. Fuck. Play the damn tape, Mitch. <laughs> Heroin! While unconscious, this deceiver among you, this criminal, was injected with a poison. Oh. I wonder who it was. I ask you, what is a life worth to you? Why don't you fess up or we all die? Okay. Check yourself for marks. Huh? If he injected us, there could be marks. Yeah, okay. You would know, considering the riddle couldn't have been more full frontal of pointing finger as possible. Like, oh, it's fuck her. off. Yeah, it's her. One of them Peter. has an antidote, Peter. the okay. others have acid. You're lying! You're lying! Oh, I was broke, okay? And yes, somebody died, but I, it wasn't my fault! <laughs> the acting's awful. Choose now! What does that mean? Look at the syringe and maybe you know. How much is a life worth to you? Three dollars and fifty-three cents. Hmm. Oh come on, pick! Pick one! Pick no! Please! Pick the whole no. time! Pick now! Pick now. Come on, choose! No! Come on, pick! Pick one! Pick one! Pick one! Pick one! Pick 
you got to fuck me! Fuck me. Loud noises! My god, there's a lot of yelling. It's one of those Saw movies again. <laughs> they do realize they could just grab the chains and pull pull their body up, right? Yeah, I know. And apparently, the, you know, the game creator or whatever n knows when the um thing has been set and it remotely unshackles their. Yep. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I will admit this is pretty gnarly. You right? No. Watch. You got no. it. Oh, it's over. Don't believe you. It's over. It genuinely is. She's dead. There's more numbers on the inside of this. Could be the combination. Malcolm Neal. I remember that case. His wife was murdered five years ago. The home invasion. Perp slit her throat. They made him watch. Oh, yeah. I remember Malcolm Neal was a uh, degenerate gambler. Wife's murder was on him. He owed some bad guy some money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's blaming the, um... Dead guy? For his wife's murder being killed because he was a compulsive gambler. Fuck off, Halloran. You're kind of a dick. Voice was John Kramer. Matched. Identical. Matched. What? He came back from the dead? Wouldn't be his first time. Yeah, it would be. He's never come back as a zombie. Oh, and he just magically got it? No, the syringe had the code on it. Uh, I thought there were others that had him too. No, just the, um, what, what is it, the it? one, how much is a life worth to you, $3.53, he turned around the bottom. Yes, but the numbers could have been jumbled. It said left this number, R this number, L this number, R this number, telling left, right, left, right. What's your sin, Ryan? Sold bad mortgages, sold good coke, cheated on my taxes, cheated on my wife, both of them. <laughs> Dick. If he hadn't fallen asleep, he wouldn't have rolled over and suffocated. <gasps> Isn't that why they tell parents to sleep under the covers and the baby on top of it in one of those little things? Yeah. So incidents like that don't happen. Yes! Oh, no. Oh, that's going to be the most painful amputation. Asking this, though. How did Jigsaw know that he was going to step right there? How did he know that was going to happen? And what was the trigger to make the full floorboards just fall like that? There's a tape. <gasps> and goodbye, Ray. He could have used that moment to lift his leg. No, he couldn't have because it just gets tighter. I thought it doesn't actually release. I, it's just I thought they loosened and tightened on the rake and then. No, it never loosens. There are no shortcuts in life. Pull the handle, and you will be set free. What does he mean, set free? Good luck, lollipop. He tried to cheat the game, now his legs wrapped around wires that are on a pulley system. He needs to set himself free. What do you think? He's gotta amputate his leg. Indeed! Ding 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 ding! We have a winner! Looks like the same killer. This was on the body. Also, are coroners usually brought to a crime scene like this? Are coroners normally brought... Like, I don't think coroners are brought to a crime scene like this. Usually they scan depending on the extent... No, I thought coroners only received the body to then the roof do the autopsy on. They don't actually go to the crime scene. Alright, I'm gonna have to need- I need, um, censoring. Nice. Ah, uh, cause titties. Puzzle piece. Course on the tongue. Jake fucking saw. Thanks for running us fucking on. saw! The script is nothing special, it's kind of tr fucking terrible. I can- I confess that this is fucked up! Yes, you do. I said that earlier. <sighs> So what do you think so far? I don't know. You don't know? I mean, you kind of groaned at the only being 30 minutes in part. I don't know, because I don't care. Maybe you should. What the... Think Billy grew himself a mullet. Oh, fucking mullet, mate. Needs to shave a little bit more to get himself a sky. Get the good old Aussie 
Yeah, cut, see? Fucking crikey. It'd be a dumb dog eshy cut. Free yourself to free them. Who came up with the idea of putting light bulbs in Billy's eyes? I don't know, but it won't make sense. I will tell you that right now. It what? It will not make sense. I'll tell you that right now. Ah, uh, and guess where they are? It's a grain silo. I don't know what that is. Let's just say hundreds of farmers die per year in grain silos from drowning and sinking into grain. Oh. This is a blood sample of a perp taken a decade ago. You might remember the case. It's an exact match. What's an exact match? The blood sample. For who? What is it? John Kramer. The blood under the fingernails of our first victim. It's John Kramer's blood. He's resurrected from the dead as a zombie ten years later! I didn't know it was Easter up in here. What? Jesus resurrected from the dead on Easter. Your jokes make no sense. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd be trying to move to the edges. The sensors need to be pretty sharp to avoid those. <laughs> Nailed it. Uh. I saw that coming. Help me. Send mercy. Send help. SUSHI LEG! HORRIBLE ACTING! <laughs> Not creepy at all. And this office is about to get fired. <gasps> Ooh, that looks juicy. Great work. Now we've got probable cause. How did you get that photo? Fuck off! Half of those photos were taken before he even got there. Exactly, seemingly. And he took off before they looked like they exited. Says my name. You know what happens if we don't follow the rules? Can play that damn tape. Never mind, you shouldn't have played that damn tape. Also, how did Jigsaw know he was going to stand there for the rope to go around? $600 for a bike that you listed in excellent condition. Even though you knew the brakes were faulty, you took his 600 bucks, and in return you delivered him to his end. Ouch. He was my nephew, and he never hurt anyone. Jigsaw's nephew. Jigsaw had a brother or sister? Because it's only being mentioned now that he apparently had a nephew. And... You know, the eighth movie in. Live or die, Mitch. The choice is yours. I don't wanna die! So with his circumstances... Oh, what's his chance of survival, do you reckon? Slim to none. Slim to none, you reckon? Yep. Unless oh. she be a fucking idiot. And does something stupid. Oh, no! <laughs> Ouchies. Did he just lose his hand? No, she uh, stopped the device though by jamming it. Smart though. Get me out of here, please. Now pull the fucking lever. Oh! I love the sound he made. <laughs> so you stupid. got one job, one job to do. You useless mother. Want me to finish this off for you? You stole my joke. Yep. They got cameras there to see a dead fucking body. Fuck off. Let's just say you can call off the hunt for a good month. Oh, come on. Then I mentioned this. If Jigsaw's body was removed out of his grave and uh, Edgar's was put in there, how do they not know that the grave was recently dug up to have his body placed inside? 
I have no clue. It's a very flawed movie. I wouldn't even call it a movie, I'd just call it a piece of shit. <laughs> Jesus, at least I know you don't like it. Fucking hell. Your verdict's not meant to come for another 30 minutes. <laughs> Who found the body at Eleanor's studio? Jesus. Eleanor? You had motive. He wanted Edgar dead. Who ordered the, the targeting of the remote? If he moves to trigger it, blow it to shit. Go on. Yeah, everybody targeted the trigger, but did anyone actually see so they're putting what Hyman was the aiming officer. at? Let me get you proof. Let me open up Edgar Munson. We match that slug to Halloran's gun. Yeah, now they're gonna finally extract that bullet. Shouldn't they have done that in the hospital? No, um, because it was lodged against his heart. They couldn't really operate until he was out of the coma. So Talon, he's got a 17. Nine by 19 Parabellum. That's a Glock 17. Okay. L, where the hell are you? Call me, it's urgent. She's gone. No, just there to give a Jesus. jump scare. I've been trying to call you. Because jump Come scares on. are scary, oh, apparently. I found it. I think I know where the game is being played. I found the farm. You want to see this game for yourself. She's psychotic. You psycho sick fuck. Granted, us Saw fans like to see the games, you know. Through the movie, because they're... Nine times now. But Pat, these are not real. She's pl she is playing a... It, she's an actress in a movie as if it is real. She's... Her character in general is psychotic. <coughs> uh, she also hasn't busted the fucking lock on the door. There's a separate lock and chain. Just bust that. <laughs> Your face. Hello, Anna. I hate this movie. He staged his death. What does he have a twin brother? No. That is John Kramer. I know, but who died in the third movie? Your life of reckless deceit started in high school and only grew worse. Sit down. Get the hell sit the fuck up. Get the fuck up. <laughs> Ouch. But, bam. So, um, yeah, maybe a lot of people do that drive recklessly these days should watch this movie, because that can happen. My cancer could have been diagnosed a lot sooner. It was simply the wrong name on an x-ray. Oh, it wasn't the case. And Jigsaw just so happened to know that she suffocated her baby. But how? All he could do was hear it. He couldn't see anything. How did he know? And... Yeah, this is kind of fucked up. She, she blamed her husband and me. And then he took his own life because he couldn't deal with the fact. That he thought he killed his own child. Exactly. So, it's easily the darkest scene in the entire film. And it's actually the most interesting storyline that I wish was explored more, in my opinion. That's traumatizing and quite fucked up, and I wish it was touched on a lot more. If they did, I think it could have been a very interesting movie. But what happened to Dr. Gordon? Oh, just letting you know, he's not mentioned in this movie once. <laughs> D mm. Buckethead sample. The pig virus. This farm was in Jill Tuck's family. Jigsaw's wife. The farm is owned by Jill Tuck. What happened to her? Oh wait, she died. I was gonna say, she died in the last movie. She kinda got a jaw ripped open. A very forgettable movie. Oh, it's not, it's fucking hilarious. <clears throat> oh. It's fucked okay, up. We need to bring him so, in. Jigsaw's alive. Is he an accomplice? Is he like an apprentice working with Jigsaw? I need to ask, who do you think is working with Jigsaw. Because that's been the big mystery of the movie so far. Who do you think it is? It's the detective. You think it's actually the detective? Um, 
Or it's her and she's just framing the detective. Okay. Now, if you want to achieve your freedom, you have to learn. You have to realize that you've been doing it backwards. Is your key to freedom. Oh, can't you do the 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 way he, can't you do it the way he closed the door in the first movie with the really cool like like the cool jolt? Nah, those days are over. I think. Aww. You've been obsessed with John Kramer from the start. The website, the traps you built. Lots of people are fascinated by Kramer. I'm fascinated by Kramer. You said it yourself. It's just the bullet matches. He's connected to all the victims. He <laughs> Hi, how you doing? You're not making yourself look suspicious at all either. All right, you got what you. Oh. Fuck. Fuck. Oh. Ow. Fuck. He just got a wrench to the side of the head. Ow. That would have hurt. He wants me to kill you. No, 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 don't touch that, you psycho bitch. That's the only way. No, no. That's a, that's the way to stop her from shooting. You call her a psycho bitch. Good job, mate. G good job. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't, don't, don't. Just you wait. Backwards. He, he said we've got it backwards. No. Yeah. The reverse shotgun. I will admit that's pretty cool. Hmm. And like as a trap, the riddle side of it is really amazing. Here's your key to freedom. The key to freedom that unlocks the ankle was in the shotgun shell. It was right there. Yeah, that, it, it was literal. Here's your key to freedom. Ah, oh, that's so fucking. That's fucked up. Is your key to freedom. All because Anna wouldn't listen, and Ryan faded out a little too late. We could have been free, Anna. So it wasn't him. So who was it? I don't know. Was it Anna Lenore? Or was it the other detective working with Internal Affairs? Congratulations, you found it. You are the final two players. If you admit to the reason that you deserve to die, you can escape death. I will be listening. Make your choice. How are you alive? How, How are, are you still alive? The offers. Okay. <sighs> dick. What a dick. So he was the cause of his uh, cancer or the tumor not being uh, treated in time. Wow. Because he mislabeled the x rays. <laughs> and good night. Why did he still kill him? He Maybe it wasn't the right thing he wanted to confess. Maybe it wasn't the full story. What do you think of the updated look to this movie, by the way? It's not bad. Like the cinematography, the very modern day aesthetic. It doesn't suit the themes of these movies. No, and I completely agree. It makes you feel like it's a part of a different franchise. Yeah. I put innocent people away. <laughs> Murderers and rapists what? People died because of me. Innocent people died because of me. I did it. Mm-hmm. Because if any innocent people died because he worked with criminals and let them go walk free. <sighs> Halloran, you prick. <laughs> Your face! Logan, you... Uh, why? <laughs> why? You fucking gullible little shit. You're working with him. I am him. What? I'm with a little help from you. No one will ever suspect it. People died because of me! Innocent people died because of me! I did it. <laughs> Ten years ago in this very barn, a game was played. 
all that was based 10 years ago. Yep. I know this because I was one of the players. Jigsaw put me in that game because 10 years ago. <laughs> John decided I shouldn't have to die over an honest mistake. So at least this movie actually had the decency to show the human side of Jigsaw, uh. John Kramer, as a person. Which is something I actually do appreciate about this, showing that he does have a human side to him and that he does care about mm. people. Why was Edgar Munson free? He was a murderer, but you were protecting him because he was your criminal informant. Edgar Munson killed my wife. You know? Yep. You don't know that. Halloran had uh, Munson as his criminal informant, but Munson was also the guy who killed Logan's um, wife. Wow. Personal vendetta. Motive. John, Kramer gave people a chance to win the game. Choice. <laughs> you have a choice. Yeah, right. Scream or don't. Doesn't matter what I say about it. Nope, it doesn't. You're just dead anyway. You should know this by now. Some will think it's Jigsaw. Some will suspect you. None of this makes no one sense. will suspect me. Ten years ago, I came out of the war a broken man. You ready to see something really fucking dumb? I mm, guess. Unless it means watching this movie again, then no. Just wait. Because we'll speak for the dead. Together, we built a they legacy. They were friends? Apparently the guy... <laughs> he built the reverse bear trap? The guy that was only introduced eight movies in made the reverse bear trap, or at least helped make it. Fuck off. creatures from Stranger Things. Like I was about to say, it looks like the Demogorgons from Stranger Things. Yeah! <laughs> I speak for the dead. How's that for an ending line as well, by the way? Doesn't even say game over. It says, I speak for the dead. Boo! I would have rather nothing be said at all. So, Jigsaw. Zero stars. Really? You didn't like... So you like it less than Saw 3D? Mm-hmm. Why? What What made this worse than Saw 3D? It was boring. The storyline was all over the place. Just the, all of a sudden changes in the every other movie's storyline. Yeah, because you wanted to hear why this movie makes zero sense. If the game took place ten years ago to the modern day plot line like the police investigation, if it took place ten years ago, why does Billy have glowing eyes? And this supposedly took place before the events of the, you know, Amanda's Trap, meaning this was the first game ever. Mm. I thought Cecil's in Saw was 4 his... was the one with the, uh, what Where is it? Where he had to put his face through the knives and then it just yeah. failed because he dropped. The knife cage. And not only that, that means it's before Amanda's, before the razor wire, before the flammable Jenny, before Dr. Gordon and Adam... Not only that, why was this guy never mentioned with Amanda or Hoffman? What types of, um, what is it, TVs were used in the original films in regards to the tapes, whether it was showing Billy or showing, um, what is it, uh, John Kramer, the little box TVs. Mm. So why does this movie have flat screens? And not only that, with Edgar Munson's body being put in, one, where did Jog Kramer's body go? And two, wouldn't they have noticed that the grave had recently been dug up to replace the body? Unless it was dug up just after he was buried. Doubt it. Because he's been dead for ten years, someone would have noticed the grave robber. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Need I mention, there's never been any mention in the seven previous movies of John Kramer having a nephew, niece, or any other family besides Jill Tuck and Gideon who died. This movie, narratively speaking, makes no sense. And I love... Josh Stolberg and Pete Goldfinger as writers, as screenplay writers. Sorority Row, Piranha, like, you know. Piranha. I love Spiral, um, which you're going to watch next. Mm. The final one in the Saw series. But this, I'm sorry, felt very much so like Avatar The Last Airbender. This did not work. But anyway, Aaron, unfortunately, you can't give it a zero stars. You have to give it an out of five from a point five. What do you give it? I suppose I have to give it a point five, even though I really want to give it zero. Well, either way, guys, that was my sister's reaction to Jigsaw. Thank you all so much for the support and watching once again. We're almost at the end. One more to go, and then we start the next series of videos for my sister, or movies, sorry, for my sister to watch for the first time. A very particular franchise you guys have been dying for her to watch. 
She doesn't know what it is yet. Well, actually, I think I spoiled it for you the other day. Yeah, you did. Final Destination. Yeah, I accidentally spoiled it for her the other day when I was going to keep it a secret, but oopsies. But either way, we'll be jumping into Final Destination as soon as we finish Spiral. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. Do sure also from the social media to Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and Twitch to watch my live streams and keep updated with your content coming to the channel. Do be sure also click the subscribe button and the bell to get notified when new videos are up every single week. Do be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.